Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here. Come at you guys with a mystery pack bundle opening from Heart of the Pack. If you guys don't know who he is, he's an awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. He opens up a lot of cool Yu-Gi-Oh! products. I personally love watching him. And today we made a little trade, and what I got from the trade is some mystery packs. And I heard these are actually pretty good. He said he was just wanting to do them for fun and all that. So we're gonna open these up, but before we get into it, first of all, check out Heart of the Pack. His link will be in the description below. Uh, second, I will be doing a giveaway because I want to share the love. I will be giving away an ultimate rare firewall dragon. Uh, from I believe it's OTS 17. OTS 16. I always doubt myself between 16 and 17. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is hit the like button, be subscribed to the channel, and comment down below what you think of these mystery packs and how you th what you think about mystery packs overall. Either one of the two questions or both. It'll be US Canada only. Winner will be announced in about two to two and a half weeks. But check the pinned comment for more details. And we're going to get right into this. Okay. So, I... Don't usually open up mystery products personally, but if it's hard of the pack, you know, I gotta do it. And we have six here. We don't have just three. We have six. And if you guys are wondering what these numbers are, basically I said just give me whatever, you know, numbers and we'll, we'll take care of it. So I know that there are different color packs. Uh, I think white is just normal. So it looks like this first one's just, you know, kind of whatever. Uh, but let's see what kind of hits there'd be. I mean, I already screwed up opening it. Oh, I suck at opening these. See, I gotta watch more Heart of the Pack. You know, if I watch more Heart of the Pack, I know how to open up his packs. That's on me. I'm gonna boop there. And... Alright, so it's one at a time here. So we got the counter gate here. Old OG Super right here. Shadow Tune. Secret Compulsive Rarity Collection 2. That's cool looking. Bow Fusion. Solemn Strike. This is actually worth something. This is actually cool. This is Machina Fortress. Actually a couple bucks. And then we have... Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be that quarter century. But yeah, it's about... You know, LP condition. I'm actually more excited about the, uh, the Machine Fortress. Uh, but it looks like you could get quarter centuries here. Which kind of makes me ask, can I get... What core centuries can we get? Is it from Rarity Collection? Because we saw the Rarity Collection 2 card. We've got Sphere Karibo here. Now, this is actually kind of cool because I know this was worth money at some point. Uh, I don't cover too much speed, though, unfortunately. Not even going to guess what that is. Odd Eyes. Okay, that's cool. Platinum. Okay. Oh! Wait, this is actually... Is this the YSD? Okay, Elemental Hero Sparkman. That's in pretty good condition. Like, light play. Okay, not bad here. And I'm, I apologize for the glare, by the way, guys, in advance. Um, I plan on getting a studio for opening stuff, which is I don't have many. Wait, this card's... I know this card's worth something. Wind Up Rat. If we could get Wind Up Carriers and Mighty off the list, that'd be great. Carriers been on the list, ban, ban list for like over a decade. So I actually have quite a few of these. This is actually a nice card to have. I am completely fine with that. Uh, this is from Rising Duels. This is Dream Air Archetype. Uh, that's worth like two or three bucks, something like that. So already this pack is... Doesn't matter what the end is. Zero max, that's just an old cool super. That's probably a buck. Oh, an Ash. That's cool. Oh, this is DB1, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. Probably not worth anything, but DB1's cool. Ultra Ash and a Great Sphinx. So that pack was really good. I think these are roughly 30 bucks, maybe a little less, like 27, 28. Um, so. If every pack is supposed to get us a certain amount, that one did a, did a lot of work. All right. No, nothing, nothing too fire here. Oh, Battle and Boxer. That's like two or three bucks. There's a combo that uses this that I know. Uh, something for, I think it's Infernoble could use it. So, okay. Not as amazing as the last one, but I do like mystery packs when you can get something back. Like, I love the fact of mysteries. It's just you can never guarantee... If it's good or not. I know Heart of the Pack, so I know it's good. And I really wish there was more opportunities like this. So, shouts to him again. Uh, we got the Black Ray Lancer here. Okay, that's cool. I remember Goblins hyped this card up. Did not live up to the hype. White Horn of Heaven. Hita, that's cool. Oh, Sukiyomi. That's like a 3 or $4 secret from um, Duelist Nexus. And a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. This, this from Legend Collection... 
Yugi Squirrel. It's a first dead, and the condition's stellar. And knowing Yugi's world, this is worth quite a bit of money, actually. This was the pool, probably, even though I was happy with the rest of the pack. Okay, so for, you know, a little less than 30 or something roughly around there, I really can't complain about that. And, again, I think there's different colors. I think I could be completely wrong. I know there's also the chance to get a slab. Yeah, oh, no, I am right because there's a, there's a silver one right there. So we're going to check that out last here. So let's see what these packs kind of line up. I assume there's a certain guaranteed value in the special packs. I assume. But hell should all. I remember this was used in tier laments. Um, still, they, they'll probably never go back to it. That build just didn't feel good to play. Rivalry, that's like a dollar rare, I think. Oh, you guys know it's my favorite archetype. Wait. There's a CR. Okay, the last card's a CR from Rarity Collection. Oh, snap! Hey, evenly matched? I'm not gonna lie. That is cool. An evenly matched? That's probably like 10, 12 bucks or something. And we have the silver pack. So, okay, it looks like we're not gonna have trouble probably pulling our number here. Whatever it may be. Fall to Albaz. Boop. Okay, so this one looks like it's commons. Last one's too good. Vishuda. And Light Pally. That's a it's a cool cover card, but it's whatever. Oh, and Time Tier Morganite. That's just like a $5 card now, funny enough. It used to be three to four, but now it's about five bucks. Should have had a quarter century, honestly. I would have loved that, but Konami's really gotta give these cooler, like, more generic cards to quarter centuries. But good pack nevertheless. Sanvalin, man, Sanvalin is so crazy here. Time Thief, Gold Lord, and the G Brilliant Gem Knight. It's probably a buck. I'm not really too sure about that value. I know that Absorb Fusion for Gem Knight still needs a reprint, though. Same with Lady Brilliant Diamond. Mermaid Outfit Outfitter. Say that five times. Mermaid, Mermaid Outfitter. Mermaid, Mermaid Outfitter. Mermaid, Mermaid Outfitter. Mermaid, Mermaid Outfitter. Mermaid, Mermaid. Oh, you guys are tired of me. Evenly. Okay, Evenly. Ghost Spell. Okay, that's good. Uh, alpha here. All right. Oh, hold on. Not only is this really good, the Muhammad, but it's Euro Prey. If you guys see that, it's a lot darker. I love the glare, by the way, so much. I don't know if you guys love it. This is cool. That's a cool looking card. Banshee, that's like three, four bucks. And a secret terraforming. That's like a buck. That's good. Okay, silver pack here. I don't know what could be here. Could it be like a quarter century? Could it be like, I don't know what would be in here. Naturia Exterior, this card just bounces up and down for the market. Like, this gets spiked for no reason in the secondary market all the time. I'm actually going to come a little closer so you guys can see it a bit better. That used to be good. <laughs> Salmon Great Fire, that's like five bucks. So that's at least the pack right there. That thing. CR Pre Prep, that's actually kind of cool. Probably a buck or two. Ooh, that's the new uh, Trihorn Dragon. Okay, that's cool. Quarter century fares. So it's like twenty dollars, I think. Like, it's either like twelve going up to twenty, or like something around it. That is amazing. Iris and a stake your soul. Okay, hold on. This is about. I know this is like nine or ten. That's like you know maybe four or something. So it's like thirteen, and that's like let's say it's fifteen. That's like twenty eight, and then yeah, this whole pack was thirty something. That's. I'm happy with that. Guys, I am happy. So this is the third one. Remember, there's three more after this. So I am personally really happy with this mystery pack. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, I thought we got another silver. Guys, I was excited for another silver. So I was like, huh, maybe. All right, sphere mode, good staple. Oh, wow, the same card. That's why one platinum, though. Dogmatic Punishment. Oh, that's cool. It's like three or four bucks. It's uh, the red eyes from the bat from the Battles of Legends. Personally, I like the jump version more, but the CIA, I don't know. Maybe the secret kind of looks a little cooler. I don't know. I'd probably run the secret, but I keep the jump in the binder. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Good one. Good one, Heart of the Pack. Good one. Man, so funny. Rescue is high. That's like two bucks or something. Oh, and a Lightning Storm? That's like three bucks. 
Okay, so that pack made itself back. Man, these are really good value, honestly. Like, guys, I'm not, like, sponsored by this by any or anything like that. Uh, we made a trade for it, and it was... I don't know, I like them so far. Platinum Egyptian God. Chaos Space. Secret Ghost Bell, okay. Nadir, and Sulfa Cord. I don't know how much this is worth. All I know is, like, people like the artwork, but the deck sucks. That's an Ultra from a deck set building set that hasn't been reprinted, so... Not gonna complain too much here. Oh, uh, where do we tear this one? Right here. Boop. Hmm. All right, next pack here. Wow! <laughs> Yo, heart of the pack, I think there was a mistake, bro. This is, um... Yo, heart of the pack, I think there's a mistake. Why is there a random thrust in one of these? <laughs> this was the best pack ever. I want $60. I don't know what to say. Okay, well, Baron. That's good, because it's Yoji. Nice little fair. So the rarity collection one? Yeah, rarity collection. Oh, gold pride secret. Okay. So this car is like two or three bucks. I know he's from the Cybernetic Horizon set, or not Cybernetic Horizon, Cybernetic Revolution. The most recent Cybernetic one. When you're an old Yu-Gi-Oh player like me, you'll realize that Konami every few years will use the same like word, uh, like Phantom Nightmare, Phantom Darkness, right? Like they'll always just use the same word for one. So you'll always start getting them like mixed up. Oh, snap, okay. This is, PSA, guys. So I don't know what that is. We're gonna keep that right here. Uh, was it only three? Just making sure. Oh, there is four. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, all right. So we're gonna keep this till the end. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to tease you guys like that. I'd say sorry, not sorry, but oh, I'm gonna say these are worth it automatically. I don't care what's in the other two. Like these are amazing. Check out Heart of the Pack, y'all. Please subscribe to him, too, uh, if you could, because this is amazing. Okay, Master of Chaos. Not bad here. We're actually going to put the giveaway right here and make a new little pile. All right. Man, uh, I know... I didn't, he didn't tell me what all the slabs were, but I know the one I really wanted was the Ghost or Blackwing, if possible, if I was able to pull that. Um, and he doesn't know what slabs... That's so, that's so funny. He doesn't know what slabs have been pulled from what he's told me. Heat Soul CR, that's cute. That might be a buck. Um, I think there was like five to ten slabs. I think there was like a hundred of these. I'm not too sure, guys, because he just offered a trade because I had some stuff he wanted. And I was like, sure, you know, whatever. It's a fun video. I didn't really think about this. In fact, I kind of forgot until this card's actually busted. Uh, another Banshee, except this is... Yeah, this is Euro. You guys can see how dark that is. Or bright, I should actually say. It's kind of bright, more bright and more dark at the same time. That's cool. All right. Next pack here. Dark Ruler No More, yeah. These packs were whatever, we got the slab. So it's fine, Veiler's like a buck. That's probably a buck because it's the secret rare balls. And a CR Afterglow, and that's a European Afterglow. Okay, I see you, Heart of the Pack, I see you. Yeah, you guys like that I'm um, saving suspense for this, don't you? I can tell you right now, it's probably not gonna get a 10. Uh, whatever that card is, it's not a 10. Guys, I thought there was another slab. I was about to be like, bro, packs must be weighed. Weighed in my favor. All right, that card, actually, it's really nice that I got this card. I had to go dig for a bulk like two weeks ago for Edison to find these my copies. So it's actually really nice to have as a bulk card. Meteorite, that's cute. Hero Spirit, I've never heard of that card in my life. The Barrier card, I feel like this was, someone talked about that against Tempeh. Maybe I'm like incorrect, but who knows. Uh, this is the fifth one, by the way. So we still have one more after this, guys. Okay, uh, Noble Knight Borg. This was some Shadow Spectres, funny enough. That, that's funny. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. That's like a buck or two. Cherbini. Revolution Synchron? Hey, that's like 20. Yo, know I would take it. All right. This one, this, this pack was basically worth it. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Dynamorphia Frenzy. I know that stuff. People look at Dynamorphia. They really like that deck. I think that if it, had a, if it didn't lose in time, it'd be much better. But it just feels like a locals deck. That's kind of the problem with Dynamorphia. Oh, Pegasus. That's like two or three bucks. And I remember the, the tin promo that this came in. Uh, man, I really thought those cards would be worth a lot more money when I looked them up like years later. And they, they just weren't. All right, next pack here. I would definitely like go out of my way to get these. This is an old super. I don't think it's worth anything, but first set OG super like this is just super cool. The Cheerio Barkion? Okay, okay. Hero's Bond, that's cool. Premium pack, so that could be crazy. That could not be, and the Bad Horse card, but it looks cool. I had the Quarter Century because it looked really cool. I like how he has the, the cute little comment here. All these hollows and stuff. Majesters, that thing. Droplets is good. Oh, Miss Valley. This is actually really good, too. Okay. Well, it was definitely worth it. I'll tell you that for that one. Like, I remember he was saying something like he lost money on this, I think. Don't take my word for it. But he wanted to just because he'd really like it. Okay, there's no slab in here. I felt that. Okay, so it looks like we got an even spread here. If we got another pack with something, I would have been like, whoa. The thrust is just too insane, though. Hell should all. Probably like a buck there. And he's got Planet from... Oh, it's a new one from IOC. This card actually looks clean with the new Super. I'm cool. I dig that. Guys, I am so scared about the PSA. I'm like... Like, I want... Because I know there was barely any. So it's like all hits. Fable Lurie. Now, this is like 10 bucks. If you guys did not know, uh, this got bought out, which is really funny. So that's probably a hit that wasn't supposed to be there, but just so happens. And then the Sulfur Core, that's a couple bucks. Okay, so, so far, we made our money back on this one, too. We made back our money almost on all of them. Valor. That's like a buck. You know what? I love that Heart of the Pack puts cards like this. I could never expect. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, because you guys are probably looking, is this a sticker? This is a Hobby League card. Now, what they used to do with these is for your entry, they used to just give these out for free. It was just like a weird thing that Konami did for a short amount of time. I remember getting a Heavy Storm when I was like younger, when I was playing a tournament. And these cards are really nice. You can't play with them legally, unfortunately, but they're really cool. And honestly, I did not have a Hobby League Cyber Jar. In fact, my Hobby League's kind of lacking. Uh, I have my decrees. I, I wanted a set of decrees. I know I got that right away. I have a degree, like, I have a lot of decrees in general because I like that card. So that's really cool. I don't know how much it would be worth, but it's not cheap. It's not a bulk card. I know that for sure. Live Twin Secret. Ghost Bell. And this is from the structure deck i believe old structure deck. so last pack until we see this psa remember check the rules down in the description below it's like us canada only for this and how to enter to get your ulti firewall all right oh man multiply that's the rare so that's actually worth something because from the legendary collection joey's world rarity and a fire okay that's good so i'm gonna get fire okay Hoping it's the ghost rare. Cause I, you guys know I love ghost rares. We're gonna flip it, all right? Three, two. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe there weren't all hits. <laughs> it's a 10. It's an unlimited fusionist from LOB. That's cool. That is very cool. I will say that, guys. I don't know why I thought, I, I was, guys, I wanna have a lot of hope and say this was a ghost rare. All right, that's funny. But that's really, really cool. Man, so overall, I mean, if these were like, say, 30 or less for mystery packs, I want to say this was great. 
uh because you have the chance to get that pack that gets you you know over value you don't know what's gonna be in here sometimes the cards could just go up later on like lurry right because i feel like that was not supposed to be a hit in there but maybe i'm incorrect because it might have happened like two three days ago these were packed like i don't even know how long ago but honestly i am super happy with this uh definitely makes me happy i would highly recommend it go check out heart of the pack awesome guy uh just love doing it and we're gonna do some more collabs in the future too so be prepared for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.